G'day guys and girls, <clears throat> welcome back to my little channel, my little beer review place, Goodies Beer Reviews. I might sound like crap today, and I'll keep it short, I usually say that, don't I? But I've just got a, made a raging sore throat, like terrible sore throat, and just slept like crap. And I get a bit of tonsillitis, and I had uh, glandular fever a couple of times back in the day, and Mate, my throat just plays up sometimes, and I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, I'll have a yank, yank to him then, he might want to take it now, no, no, who cares, it's only a little operation. But... So today I thought, um, and sorry if it's a bit windy, guys, the wind's picking up, a few storm clouds coming in, uh, crown lager. So if anything's going to kill, anything nasty in my throat, it's got to be this stuff, doesn't it? Cooking, I haven't had this for, mate, in a while, look, it's even crying. Anyway, Crown Lager, brewed by Carlton United, from memory, uh, 375ml bottle, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, oh, look I'm ripping on this a bit, you know, 1.4 standard drinks, I love the bottle, I do love the bottle, and this is an export beer for us, I don't know if it's a twisty or a, or a one of the, oh no, twisty, oh, I, always, I brought me old trusty uh, James Squire bottle opener, just in case for this one. But yeah, Crown Lager, what we export, you used to go to David Jones and stuff back in the day and you go downstairs or wherever to the, the food department and and uh, have your cheese and wine. They always had Crownies there and Fosters and and uh, Crownies, it's like a celebratory beer, isn't it, for the like early 90s and I don't know, it was all about like the crown, the bottle and they always used to say, I don't know, all you beeries might know this, but the darker the bottle, the less clear the beer is to hide the appearance of the beer because it doesn't look attractive so if you've got like a you know a cooper's dry or something like that's clear they put it in a clear bottle you get a like a non oh, what, i call it cold crash but you know where you clear the beer anyway it's in a brown bowl and it looks nice look at the head though the head just twizzles away hey look at that is it clear well, it is it's it, it's not it's not actually uh, it's clear but it's not crystal clear. Anyway, I haven't had one of these for a while. So I thought, I feel like crap. I recall this being crap. So it's probably like drinking a bit of bleach. Hopefully it clears the throat out. Anyway, to the nose. Yeah, adjunct lager. Just rubbishy. Like just that, I shouldn't say rubbishy. I mean, look, I don't know. Look, is, is any beer a bad beer? Look, this might taste like crap, but I'm enjoying it. Maybe. Anyway, nothing to grip around. Oh, I'll tell you something's peed me off today after this mouth I said, we'll have a sip. It's smooth to drink. And I remember, I remember another fellow reviewed this and I remember me saying, you know what it's good for? A stinking hot summer's day, a barbie, and you have a really cold, crowdy, but ice cold. This one I put in the freezer for a little bit. Um, yeah, and you know what? I just... I don't know. Let me have another go. All I get is a bit of malt. A slight bit of malt and a beer taste. And it reminds me of VB. It reminds me of Melbourne Bitter. Um, different beers, I know, but this is a lager. Um, yeah, look. I don't know, actually, I'm quite enjoying this one today. I had strepsils and all the crap, and I'll tell you, having a cold beer, oh, it must be the alcohol in it, I don't know. Helps the throat. Anyway, I saw on the news today all this stuff about George Pell, old mate's funeral, and, you know, he's died, he obviously died, and went to court, remember, and he went, oh, I went to jail, and got appealed, and he was innocent, or he was withdrawn, or expired, or whatever. I, I didn't follow it. And you know what, it's, again, this protesting, ugh. Well, I know you're allowed to protest. We are lucky to be able to protest. But it's just, well, I don't know, look, the guy's dead. He gave a lot to the church. Whether or not he did the 
the kitty fiddle and stuff, or the child stuff, or whatever you want to call it, the sexual abuse, the prolonged sexual abuse, whatever. I, I, I'm, I, you obviously have compassion for any victim who's been abused, especially as a child. It's common sense. If you don't, there's something wrong with you, you know. But then, you know, there was one victim on the telly. She said she was a survivor or, you know. And she was like, you know what, it's his funeral. I'm coming to pay respects because she was a woman of the church. or She called herself that or a woman of the cloth. Or, and came to give her respects, but also was a survivor of the abuse. And I thought, that just makes you a bit... I don't know, understanding, educated, learned, I, I don't know. Like, you can see the horrible things you've been through. He did it, but he's dead, and he was an, obviously an icon in the Catholic Church. We know that, like, he's, he's ranking in the Catholic Church, but I don't know. And then there's people yelling, and these people turning up. Oh, that's offensive, and this is offensive, and there's some elderly lady with a hat on going, oh, look, well, you know, I'm not the one here arguing. I don't know. Uh, and then like you ban protesting, then there'll be more protests, and yeah, and the protesting mentality is it's like you you turn up and A and B are protesting opposite things, but then all of a sudden the police will turn up and anyone else, and next minute it's all against the cops or the coppers, police. You just can't win. No, I don't know. it just peeve. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get the cranky. old cranky bloke ripping on Crown Lager. Actually, it's not bad today. It's a, I'm going to say, it's not a bad beer today. I only got one. Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll probably get me taste back. And Yeah, the old tonsillitis. I'm, I need some antibiotics. I think to, you know, it is just killing me in my throat. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop in and say good day. And uh, like I said, it was only a quick one. It's probably end up one of my longest now. That happens. But yeah, look, Crown Lager. 375 mil, yeah, it's an Aussie icon, I suppose, you know, I do like the bottle, and you know what, I enjoyed it, and I probably enjoyed it because I'm having a yak to you guys, watching me, and girls, watching me, just, oh, look, yeah, maybe there's just too much violence in the world, too much anger, oh, I don't know, who has the answers, anyways, look, I'm going to leave it there, and I love you all, Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. And, yeah, I'll see you at the next one. Cheers, everyone.